For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says replace the two wrenches and the force acting on the pipe assembly by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment at O. O being right here. So there are two things we gotta find. First, the resultant force, F of R. So sum of the forces is equal to the resultant force. Pretty straightforward. So let's call this force of 300 F of A. Let's call this force of 200 F of B. And let's call this force of 100 F of C. So F of R is equal to F of A plus F of B plus F of C. F of A is equal to 300 in the positive K direction. Pretty simple. Now let's find F of B. F of B has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. The Y component is zero. It sits on the XC plane. F of uh, B of X is equal to 200, the magnitude, times the cosine of 45 degrees, because the component is the projection aiming in the positive x direction and in the c it goes straight down and in the c is given by 200 sine of 45 degrees but it's a negative because it's going on the negative k direction so this is in the i and this is in the k so f of b is equal to let me solve it right here you plug it into your calculator and you get that is 141.4 in the i plus 0 in the j minus 141.4 in the k and last but not least f of c which aims straight on the positive j direction and it has a magnitude of 100 so all you got to do to find f of r is you got to add these three together you know the i's with the i's the j's with the j's and the k's with the k's and you get that f of r is equal to 141.4 in the i plus 100 in the J plus 158.6 in the K. Now that we have the equivalent resultant force, we need to find the couple moment. Now the couple moment is the sum of all the moments on this pipe assembly. And there are a bunch of moments. You got this 100 Newton moment you got this 180 newton meter moment but you also have two more uh, three more moments actually you have the moment that f of a creates the moment that f of b creates and you will have a moment that f of c creates but f of c is not creating any moment about o because it aims straight away from it so in total you got four moments so you have to find them so let's find the moments First, you got the moment that f of a creates about o. That is the moment created by this 300 newton force. Now, this moment is given by <clears throat> this vector oa cross f of a. So you build your matrix i, j, k. The vector oa as you can see is equal to uh, 0.5 on the j and that's it so it's 0 0.5 and 0 and f of a is given by 0 0 and 300 <clears throat> so you rewrite the first and second column 0 0.5 0 0 you do your positive diagonals the first one is 0 0.5 times 300 times i is 150 in the i. Second one, zero. Third one, zero. Then you do your negative diagonals. Negative, negative, negative. First one, zero. Second one, zero. Third one, zero. So the moment that f of a creates about o is 150 in the positive i direction. Now we're going to find the moment that f of b creates about O. 
and that one's given by the vector that goes from O to B O B which is 1.1 in the J so it's O B cross F of B so you build your matrix you get your I your J your K here you put O B OB is 0, 1.1 and 0 and F of B at the bottom which is 141.4 0 and negative 141.4 so you rewrite your first and second column 0, 1.1 141.4 and 0 we're gonna do our positive diagonals I times 1.1 times negative 141.4 is minus 155.5 in the I. The second one zero, the third one zero. Now we're going to do our negative diagonals. Negative 141.4 times 1.1 times K is minus 155.5 in the K. Second one zero, third one zero. So the moment that f of b creates about o is equal to negative 155.5 in the i minus 155.5 in the k. Now we have two other moments. The moment that the 300 newton force creates and the moment that this 200 newton force creates. And the 100 newton force doesn't create any moment because it aims straight away from o. Now we have two more moments. Let's call this m at a. I'm calling this moment M at A and I'm calling this moment M at B. So M at A is equal to 100 in the K because as you can see it's aiming straight up and you can use your right hand rule to confirm this. And M at B is equal to, we have to find it, M at B in the X, M at B has a Y component and M at B has a C component the y component is 0 because as you can see it sits on the xc plane m of b of x is given by 180 the magnitude times the cosine of 45 and this is 180 times the sine of 45 but this is negative because it's going down just like we found the force before so this is 127.3 in the i and this is minus 127.3 in the k so M of B is 127.3 in the I <coughs> minus 127.3 in the K. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we have all the moments. We got this moment, this moment, this moment, and this moment. And remember this 100 Newton force doesn't create any moment. So the sum of the moments, the equivalent couple moment is equal to when you add the I's with the I's, the J's with the J's and the K's with the K's you get that it is equal to 121.8 in the I minus 182.8 in the K and there's no J component in none of these so final answer for the resultant couple moment and final answer for the resultant force Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.